Hey guys, uh, this is a tutorial about how to make a carabella. It was a pretty cheap project that I made with some uh, pretty decent tools. You know? hey, okay, well, I'm gonna try it now. See with tennis balls how far we can get it to shoot. I'm just gonna use four rubber bands, two on each side. So I have some. Uh, nails on the back. I'm just gonna twi hang the rubber band. One from each side. Like that. Make sure it's really tight because the, the more tight it is, the better it will shoot. I'm gonna lock it down like that. And all right, let's try. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty far. Around like I would say 15 to 18 feet away. Let's try one more time. Let's try this time with uh, six instead of four. Yeah, just as, as I said, one on no, one on each side. And it's all good now. Alright, all right. one, two, three. Yeah, it was better. It was around, I said, I would say, twenty-five feet away. Okay. So that was the shooting. And now I'll show you how to build it. Okay, good. So let me start by the base. Uh, this base is 24 inches by 6. You see? And we have the arm attached to it in the middle. You see? Here we have the 6 inch bees. And I have like one of those, you know, the, the doors or the the gates thingies or whatever. Yeah, and I have the, the arm attached to it. I have two two wooden pieces here. So it will keep the the arm tight in place. And I made a lock right here. Yeah, so and I I'm using this stick. Just lock it down before it, I shoot. So it will be safer than holding it with fingers or with your finger or something. Just lock it and unlock it and it will shoot. Just like that. Pretty simple. And uh, this will hold the arm from going, you know, like that. And I have some vapor towels. I used vapor towels to absorb the power from the, the shot, you know, when it hits. This vapor towel actually absorbs the, the amount of power from the shot and it will be like easier on the arm on this and uh, I use those triangles for support yeah you see those triangles right here right there yeah and those are some arm support and here I have another base that will actually con control the height of my shot or when I, where I want it to be, you know? This is 28 by 28 inches by 8 inches. And I have the 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 first base attached to it here. And here's how I, here's how we control it, you know? You just like raise it up. So we will have three shooting angles. Just like that. Alright. Just like that. That's the other that's a shooting angle other than the first one. And we have one more right here.
is like that. Very simple. You know? Right, like that. And what it actually does, the uh, angles of shooting, it actually controls the height of your aim of your yeah, so if you have like a, a high target, if you have a high target, you can get it with this, with this angle of shooting. If you have like a medium target, you can use the other one. And if you have a low target, you can use the first one. Let me try it for you. You see what I'm talking about? Let me start with two proper bands, and I'll lock it down like that. And we'll use a tennis ball. It goes higher, but actually like near, near you, like not farther, but closer. You know. So if you have a far target, I would recommend this one this angle of shooting because it, it shoots really far and it actually like it's not the height is not bad it just if you have like a very high target I would recommend uh, to use the other angles of shooting and yeah that I have those support arms that I made and like as you see I use like uh, the hot glue to glue all the bars together, and it actually holds pretty good. So if you if you have if you don't have like electric tools or stuff like that, you can just actually use like a hot glue and glue it all together. I use the nails here, as you see. Yeah, just to make it tighter. But you don't have to use it. It just like for like it's extra. Okay guys, so let me show you a quick uh, tutorial about the angles of shooting. Okay, this is my first angle of shooting right here. And I used uh, some of those, the cub hooks, you know, to uh, hold the, the, ba the bases together. And I used this wooden stick, yeah, to keep it tight and like to hold it. So like that, you, you just put it through the cup hooks, through all of it. It's three per each, per each uh, angle of shooting. That's the first one, and you see it's tight. So when the when the shooting arm through, it won't move, you know. So let me show you the the other angle of shooting that that was the first one now the second one is right here you see and I had the same technique the same cup hooks and uh, you just put it through that's it right just like that it's really simple you know and yeah as I was saying it's just like for height purposes you know okay and that's the second one, now let me show you the third one. Okay, that, that's it. And here you have three angles of shooting. Okay, let me uh, explain to you how the, uh, the lock works. You see? You just build this in the stick and it shoots. So I have those two wooden pieces that I was talking about earlier that holds the arm in place. So you can control and you can hit your target. You know, you can aim. And I use those, the same cup hooks that I was talking about earlier on the angles of, of shooting. And you just put the stick through it like that. And when you build, the shooting arm shoots and like that just really simple just like that and to hold the bases together 
and like to actually give it that type of movement that goes around you know I use those as you see uh, for the arm I use this yeah as I told you they use it for doors and like gates you know what I mean but I don't know the, the actual name of it but I just used it uh, you can find it in any hardware store you know Walmart Lowe's anywhere pretty much and yeah you see how it rotates how it moves smoothly yeah just like that in here you know it uh, you just tie it with it comes with the screws and everything yeah you just tie it in and uh, it's pretty easy just with like simple screwdrivers and that's all you need. Hey guys, uh, let me show you how we shoot it. And that will be pretty much it. I'm using a tennis ball. Here we, we put it. And we're using our lock to lock down the arm. And I'm actually using four rubber bands. Two on each side. And let's see how it goes. Yeah, that was really successful actually. It was, I would say, around 15 feet. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. A uh, quick tutorial of, about how we do a homemade gata villa. The, it's, it was pretty cheap, pretty decent. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more. Uh, for more videos and tutorials thank you so much and i'll see you next time